Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I am doing a couple of college logo pours. So I'm starting this video. Just did one for Virginia Tech. This one is going to be for Alabama Crimson Tide. So they, I am using a combination of the Elizabeth Crimson Hue from Liquitex Basics and Crimson from Master's Touch. That's what I've got mixed together in here and I'm going to pretty much fill this up and I may even have to take it to a bigger cup. I'm going to add Floetrol. I tell you what, I think I'll just go ahead and put the Floetrol in this cup and not drop the, the lid and everything. Here's the smaller blood flow troll. That's what I use and I'm going to transfer all this into the flow troll. So I've got a little bit more of flow troll than I do paint, but I need a lot of this paint. I'm doing three paintings, so it doesn't hurt if I have a little bit more flow troll than I do paint. And I'm also using white, black, and gray. I could probably even use silver as opposed to the gray, but I don't know. I think I'll stick with gray. I wasn't thinking when I started this cup how much paint I was going to need because I ran myself tight on the last one where I did two canvases and this one I'm doing three 11 by 14 so I need 15 ounces altogether. Five ounces per painting. So I'm going to speed through the mixing part and I'll be right back. I'm going to use OGX Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Hair Serum. So what I have is I put this into a smaller bottle with a dropper because you don't need a full pump. You just need a drop in this cup of paint. So I'm just putting one dropper and I'm just going to try to stir it into the mixture without over stirring it. I've just got a big cup so I'm just trying to sink it in there. And then what I want to do is just a little bit of a sample. So I'm going to put this in the cup. A little gray. White. Black. Swish it a few times. And I have a piece of cardstock. This is my sample run. So that's pretty, pretty close to the colors. So I'm pretty good with the sample. So get my stuff out of the way here. And I'm going to write down what colors I'm using. So I'll have that for you. So I've got three canvases. 
first one I'm just going to put down a light layer of white. This just gives me a little bit of a wet base coat for the paint to glide around on. So it doesn't matter if red is swished through it at all, it's going to be covered. Just want a white base coat for it to be wet. This is a seven ounce cup. I need basically five ounces or so. So I think I'm going to start with the red. Do a little bit of white, black, gray, red again, black, gray, white, and end with red. Okay. Flip it. And I like to poke a couple of holes and that will release the paint from the bottom of the cup. So that looks good. I'll heat it really fast. Pop any bubbles. doesn't really create cells. I'm going to let this sit for a minute. Pull out canvas number two. Quick white coat. It can almost be any color on the sides, just as long as there's some paint, just to help it glide a little bit better. I'm going to take this same cup. I'm going to keep my fingers over the bottom, though, because it has a hole in it. I'll start again with the red. All right, so we are going to tilt. Now I didn't start the bottom of the cup with the white because I was I didn't want the white to take it over and make it pink feeling. So that helped with that situation. So not a lot of white came out of this one. So that's, well that's pretty good. So there's not a lot of white.
I'm going to still let this one sit a minute. So there's more black on that one. But I did put more white and gray, so we'll see if that makes any difference. Let it be growing while I do this one. There that is. All right, number three. So this one has a lot of black, which I don't know. Now because there's so much of this right here going on, I want some red back over this. So I think I'm going to come over here and do a line of red. Maybe just a squiggle of white. I'm going to take my wide scraper. I like that better. And right here, like I always say, if, if it's something that doesn't feel right to you as an artist, you just keep working until you get what you're wanting to achieve. And that's true with life, you know, just Keep working until you get to where you want to be. Don't ever give up. Okay. So now... It's not so black feeling in there. It's got black, but it doesn't feel mostly black. And I can shift it a little bit here and there just to make it not feel so intentional with the red, but yet I still want the red to kind of take it over a little bit more. But I think I can live with that right there. This is just the background, and I will have a logo on top of it. So, just making sure that all my edges are covered. So here's the last one. And I'm sure as it dries, things will pop through. It, you cannot control how it dries and cells keep happening, you know, so it will change.
So now I have a nice huge puddle of beautiful drips. Which is good because I can let them dry for jewelry. I have some red left. So I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out the uh, bottom right corner where the bell is. If you're a subscriber, click on it to make sure you get notifications. Look below the video where it says show more or the down arrow on your mobile device and that I usually explain how I mix my colors, what colors I'm using, that kind of thing. And there's wonderful links to Amazon recommendations, my Patreon and PayPal pages if you'd like to make a donation and to uh, the Facebook group if you want to come over there and connect with me and show me pictures of what you've done, that kind of thing. Since you can't really share your pictures on YouTube, but you can over in Facebook, so come join my Facebook group. The link is below the video. You just click on it and it'll take you straight to my Facebook page. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.